Yeah, good morning, everybody. This is Cruise Man. Once again here at Einstein's Bagels. Getting ready to head home. Doing a little motor vlog action today. This is kind of a special motor vlog, you might say. I've got uh, a lot of news to share with you. If you're new to Cruise Man's Garage, uh, this is my motor vlog that I do usually once or twice a week. Depends on the weather, depends on a lot of situations. Uh, I have not done one of these in a while. And the reason I haven't is because we had a unfortunate death in the family. Ricky's mother passed away on Palm Sunday. So this past week was spent getting the funeral arranged and you know all of those uh, sad events surrounding that so that's why you have not heard from me but a lot of stuff still uh, going on and a few topics that I wanted to talk about in today's motor vlog, some of which were raised by some of you through emails or comments on my YouTube channel. And by the way, that brings up a good point. If you are passionate about motorcycles, uh, we'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to this channel. It doesn't cost anything. So if you'd like, please click that subscribe button down below and that little notification bell and YouTube will then let you know when we come out with new videos. Now one of you sent me an email recently and you asked me an interesting question and it's pretty, I guess, it's probably a common question some of you have, but somebody asked me is it okay to use synthetic motor oil in a Goldwing with a DCT transmission? And the answer is yes. As long as the oil meets Honda's specifications, which are clearly posted in your owner's manual, I don't know the page number, but I will show it on the screen when I get home, uh, then you can use a synthetic, you can use a non-synthetic. It uh, doesn't really matter. I'm not going to get into a lengthy discussion on oil, but yes, you can use a synthetic. Also, uh, somebody, or a couple of you actually commented on this. I, ha I recently did a video where I talked about how to uh, safely and properly clean and maintain your polycarbonate windshields. And I talked about using clean, clear water to remove whatever, dirt, dust, bug guts, you name it. And some of you made a, a good point that I, for, I did kind of leave out, I, and I, I kind of meant to put it in the video, that if you have a lot of contamination on your windshield, such as uh, bug guts, you know, from, from a road trip or something like that, you can take microfiber cloths and completely soak them in water or even soapy water <clears throat> and you can lay those on the windshield and let them sit there for a period of time to kind of let that soak in and loosen that material from the windscreen if you have you know some sort of heavy like tree sap or bug guts or something like that that's certainly uh, a good technique and a good way to clean your windscreen if you need to. I'm also curious about uh, what are the gas prices in your area. We had a drop in gas prices about two weeks ago. It dropped about 40 cents a gallon. Got down to around 347 per gallon here for regular for 87 octane. But now it's back up to about 389. So it looks to me like it's going to get back up into that $4 range pretty soon. I'm wondering what are gas prices doing in your part of the country? Just put it in the comments down below. 
Uh, I'd be anxious to know. I'd also like to know if the gas prices will impact any road trips you're planning on taking on your motorcycle this year. Now some of you have been watching my series on motorcycle detailing and I'm actually uh, going to be working on a new video today where I'm going to be talking about uh, decontamination which is the third step of a four-step process uh, for detailing your motorcycle uh, the, the way I do it now there's a hundred different channels out there on YouTube from auto detailing uh, experts that are much more knowledgeable than I am and they all have their own methods their own techniques I'm just showing you in this video series what I do and what I'm planning to do to maintain this motorcycle my ultimate goal with this uh, 2018 Goldwing is to apply a ceramic coating to the paint uh, the ceramic coating is very durable, it's semi-permanent, it's usually good, they're any good for anywhere from two to five years depending on a lot of factors which we will be talking about in the video series. Um, so the third step before I get to the ceramic coating, actually I take it back, the, uh, the decontamination is the second step, I mis misspoke. The first step was to wash the motorcycle and I did a video on that last week on the two bucket method which a lot of you have watched and the next step is decontamination which I'll be talking about in this video and then we'll move through into polishing and then ultimately into uh, ceramic coating. So if you have an interest in those topics make sure you check out my motorcycle detailing uh, series and make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel so you know when those videos come online. You know, these supply chain shortages, or supply chain issues, I should say, have really thrown a wrench into some of my video productions because I, by now I was expecting to receive some new communication products in to review, um, but there, I, I think it's just supply chain issues. We're just not getting stuff. And it's true of everything, whether it's food or motorcycles, you can't, it's hard to find new gold wings, it's hard to find anything. So, um, I don't know, what are your supply chain issues that you're having to deal with? Put that in the comments down below. Now, I've mentioned to you before that uh, probably next week I'll be heading out to West Texas uh, for my... Uh, you know, semi-annual motorcycle trip to West Texas to visit my brother. And I mentioned that to you in the last motor vlog. And before I go, I will be doing an oil change. I'll be doing a final drive change. And I will be changing out my oil filter and my DCT filter as well. And this will be the first oil change that I've done where I am going to have to remove that traction engine guard that I mounted. And so I have uh, a technique in mind of how I'm planning to deal with that because that does require that you remove seven screws or bolts to remove that plate. And I have a, uh, a thought in mind on how that might, I might be able to make that a little bit easier so if you think I should make a video of how I do that, put it in the comments and I'll be glad to shoot a video of that and show it in one of my upcoming motor vlogs or one of my upcoming videos. I'll make a video on that topic. That's pretty much everything going on at Cruise Man's Garage right now. Like I said, I'm on my way home. We've been getting a lot of wind here in Dallas. In fact, yesterday morning, I tried to do a motor vlog, but it was so windy. Uh, it was it was just really distracting. So thanks again for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. As I've mentioned before, that really does make a huge difference with our YouTube channel. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.